Hey everyone, on this week's episode of Reverse in the Funnel, we're going to talk about the dreaded too many idea syndrome. Entrepreneurs have it all the time, we're ridiculously creative, and guess what? We end up just jumping into ideas sometimes before we actually think it through. So here's three ways to know if you have, well, too many offers in your pot because you just had too many ideas. Number one, if you have a buffet list, too many offers. Simple as that. If it's more than a handful, you have a buffet, and that's one too many offers. The other way to consider if you have too many offers is if your audience is interested, but then somewhere along the way, they just get confused and overwhelmed. You have too many offers. Lastly, you have too many offers if you simply can't remember all of them. If you can't, in a conversation, be like, oh my gosh, this is the perfect offer for you or this is the perfect solution for you because you have so many either potential options or you're trying to stop and think, hmm, I wonder what is that package called? Oh, what, what is it called today? I forget. That means you have too many offers. Simplifying your offer list doesn't mean that you make less money and it doesn't mean that you say no to customers. The truth is that when you have the right offers, guess what? It's always about a offer that can be completely customizable. The offer is just giving you the framework of some of the logistics and the overall outcome, but the specificness is always up to the interaction in between you and your customer. So make sure that you always know your offers, that if you can say them, they can think them, and in turn, your audience will buy them.